welcome to Lily Bugs Library. My name is Linda and today we're going to do the latest in our uh, Universal Yums box. So I'm going to open it up and we'll see what we got. And I have not, I undid the tape, but I have not opened it. So let's take a look. All right, so this one is Thailand. Welcome to Thailand. And it's got the thing on the back where you put uh, your scores. Ow! Dudley is digging his claws in the mirror. Um, come here, you can come up if you want. Come on, we'll check out some yums. Okay, so uh, let's see what it says on here. Uh, so it talks about the full moon festival and the earliest silk fibers in Thailand um, were discovered at an ancient Thai rune. Uh, talks about rows of boats that float along the water in the city, but it says they're not for transportation. They're actually a floating market. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, it has lots of different things about it. Uh, so let's uh, get into it here. And then there's a, a larger booklet that comes with it that gives you kind of more information about uh, all the different things. Also shows all the things that you're going to get. So we're not going to look at that right now. We're just going to dive right into it. And we have some stickers. So different cute little stickers of Thailand. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got. So the first one is, and I'm going to, sorry if I mess up some of the names, but it looks like this one's called Tasto. Uh, Devil, Devil Empire, Devil Emperor Chili Potato Chips. Those sound spicy. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see what's in them. Emperor chili, so apparently that's some kind of a some kind of a chili. Oh my goodness! There we go. Okay, I started to think I wouldn't get into it at all. My goodness, it's um, and it's not just here in Canada; it's everywhere. Like the bag is. Let's see if I can tip it up so you can actually see. But see, there's chips in it, but I mean that's not a full bag. If I was just buying that at a store, I wouldn't be that impressed. Mm-hmm. Hot. Very hot. Spicy. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> it's, um, the flavor's not bad, but the heat really takes over. Wow. Okay. Let's hope they're not all spicy. Ooh, boy. All right, these ones look more like my speed. Uh, these are coconut chips, chocolate flavor. It says, so it says chips on it, but yeah, but it shows like actual chocolates. Um, so they're called Glendy coconut chips. All right, let's try that one. <laughs> I should go into these boxes first and open everything. Okay, there we go. All right. Oh, those are interesting looking. Hmm. So they... <laughs> Dudley, what are you doing? I don't know if you could see him, but he's... Yeah, on the bookcase where he's not supposed to be. Okay, so back to the chips. Um... You can taste the coconut. Can't really taste the chocolate. Hmm. I mean, they're okay. I mean, I guess you can taste it a little, but I think maybe my taste buds are dead now after the chili, but, but yeah, they're pretty good. They are, they're pretty good. All right. So this one is called Big Roll, Grilled Seaweed Roll, Barbecue Sauce Flavor. What do you think, Dudley? Does that sound good? <laughs> Does it? All right, you gonna sit here so I can open this? Or am I gonna have to take you off my computer in a minute? All right, let's see what this one is. Okay, so it definitely looks like a seaweed roll. Stay down. Oh, you like seaweed, don't you? Mmm. -hmm. Mm -mm. 
I like seaweed. I like barbecue flavors. I don't think I really like it together. Okay, let's try the next one. Uh, Thai coconut roll roasted sweet corn. Do those things go together? They look interesting. All right, let's see what this one's like. Oh, just little tubes. Mm. It's actually really good. I'm not sure I could really describe it well though. Because you actually can taste both. Um, I can taste the coconut. And I can taste the sweetness. Both are really good. And then you get a little hit of corn, which is a bit odd. But it actually works quite well together. Yeah, I would eat those. Hmm. Okay, these ones are Una Green Tea, or maybe it's Uno, I can't really tell. Uh, green Tea Matcha Cream Coated Cocoa Biscuit Sticks. Okay. All right, let's see what those are like. Some interesting flavors for sure. A lot of coconut things and a lot of spicy things. I mean, I like Thai food, but I confess I kind of stay away from the more spicy stuff. Oh, they're pretty. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Not bad. They have that earthiness of the matcha. Um, but I could definitely taste like some kind of cocoa in them. It's not a really strong flavor, though. Those are pretty good. And then I saved what I hope is the best for last. And that is, oh, they're sour, so it might not be. It's called Sour Punk Spaghetto. So <laughs> maybe the person on the front is, uh, maybe I should be concerned about that. <laughs> All right, let's see. If nothing else, I'm sure the grandkids will love it, but I'm not, um, I'm really, I'm not very adventurous sometimes when it comes to food, so I don't always like sour things either. Sometimes I do. Oh my goodness, they're long. Like that. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna take a little piece of that. Mm-hmm. Definitely sour. I don't hate it. But it does certainly make your mouth pucker. So, let's see here. What do I like best? I think I like these ones best. And then this one. And then I think, hmm, I think maybe this one. And then the sour candy. Oops, I'm gonna lose the box here. Sour candy next, and then, oh, <laughs> not that crazy, but either one or the other two. Um, I still think I would take the chips, though, over the barbecued seaweed. Um, so, not bad. Um, not as many, not as many hits for me as the other one. I found the other one, most of the taste, except for the wasabi one I did, were actually pretty good. Um, this one... Yeah, kind of hit and miss, but you know, not too bad. Um, interesting though, like it's um, all kinds of different things that we certainly don't get here. Uh, let me take a look now. We'll take a look at the little um, pamphlet and see if they tell us a little more about it. Because I found last time when they talked about why they made certain things, it was kind of cool. So let's see here. Okay. So it says, uh, for the Tasto Devil Emperor Chili Potato Chips, it says there's no better way to experience spicy Thai cuisine than by trying it. These chips pack the heat 
And it's not just the chips that are spicy. There's dried chilies inside the bag, too. Watch out. The chilies are edible, but extremely spicy. Oof, okay. And the Glendy Coconut Chips uh, says breakfast in Thailand. And it says jock. A sticky rice porridge cooked in... <laughs> Cooked in, sorry, he's distracting me today. Uh, cooked in coconut cream. Um, and then lunch has Tom Ka Gai, uh, spicy chicken soup made with coconut milk. And then there's another one at dinner, which is a green curry made with coconut milk and hot green chilies. So it says, to put it simply, coconuts are a common part of meals in Thailand. Okay. And then the seaweed roll. Uh, let's see. It says, everything about this yum is unexpected, including its origin story. The man behind it was a teenager when he made his first million, which is about $28,000, so a million uh, baht, B-A-H-T, selling chestnuts on the street. A few years after his first success came another. He noticed his girlfriend eating plain dried seaweed and thought it could use an upgrade. He took that plain seaweed, infused it with classic Thai flavors, and the rest is history. Uh, the Sour Punk Spaghetti, um, it says, with fruits like limes and tamarind, so prevalent across the country, it's only natural that locals would acquire a taste for sour flavors. And kids especially love a sour kick to their sweets. Hmm. And then the uh, Coconut Rolls with the Sweet Corn, um, it says it might seem unusual to some, but it's an iconic combination in Thailand. Hmm. Okay. Um, it says uh, they take street corn, and it slather it with fresh coconut milk before it's tossed on the grill. Oh, that could be good too. Um, and then it talks about the uh, matcha cookie sticks. And it says matcha, while originally from Japan, has been enjoyed by Thai locals for so long that nobody remembers exactly when it made its Thai debut. The traditionally bitter flavor gets the Thai treatment from the addition of sweetened condensed milk, similar to the sweetness of Thai iced tea. Oh, okay, well that would explain why it's got some sweetness to it. So yeah, kind of interesting. And then in the back, they uh, they also have a, a recipe for green curry. So kind of neat this uh, this month, something different. I'm always excited to see, you know, what um, what country I'm going to get and, and what's going to be in it. So that was a lot of fun. All right. Um, maybe, you know, I know on their website, if anyone's interested, um, you could actually just try a box if you want to. And they also have a store there where if you see um, something that I look at and taste and think that you'd like to try it, you could actually just buy some of the individual items too. So, and no, it's not sponsored. It's just, <laughs> I'm just telling you. Okay, I hope you have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.